I love this candle so, 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 so much. Um, I don't even know what else to say about it. You go buy it and you tell me how you like it. <laughs> Um, on this new YouTube Instagramming journey that I've started with Drea by Nature. This is my third video. Uh, my first two videos, we kind of focused on food. Uh, we started off at um, a local food truck lot in my hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. The next video, I, taught, I took you guys to Trader Joe's up here with me in DC, which is like, Trader Joe's is like the place to be. Like I love Trader Joe's. And so I'm sure you guys will see a lot more content um, revolving around that. Um, but today we are going to be transitioning into the home portion um, of my channel and I thought what better place to do that than right here in my own apartment. Um, more importantly, we are going to be talking about how to make your house, apartment, whatever you have feel like home and I personally feel like the best way to do that is with scents and that is candles. And so as we are transitioning into the spring, you know, we're, we're kind of kicking the can on those warmer scented candles like the stuff that smells like waffles and uh, uh, pumpkin and sugar cookies all those warm scents that you probably will smell around the springtime I mean not springtime the winter time uh, during Christmas or Thanksgiving and Halloween you know those autumn scents and now we're in spring and summer so we're going to be transitioning to more floral scents um, things that may remind you of your favorite vacation spot that smell like coconut um, and so I thought a really cool way to do that would be to partner with an amazing girl. Her name is Ashanti Johnson. She just recently graduated um, from Hampton University and she started a small candle business called Spice Wicks. It's a black owned company, women owned company. And I got the opportunity to pick four candles that I thought would be best um, as we transition into spring or that I just really wanted to try. And also I remember if you shop at Bath and Body Works, you know, every December they do that big, big candle annual candle sale. It's usually about the first or second week of December and all the candles are like eight or nine dollars instead of the usual 22, 24 dollars that they are. Um, and I usually, like that's the Super Bowl for me. I wake up early in the morning, I go stand in line with all the people and I usually get enough candles to last me throughout the year. And that includes winter and springtime. So I have to kind of project and think ahead. Um, and I actually forgot that I had these in my candle closet uh, from December. And so I'm gonna be going and showing you guys three of those as well. So enough for the chitter chatter, let's get into these candles. Okay, so first we are gonna start off with the Spice Wicks candles. This is gonna be kind of be like an unboxing situation. Um, when you first open the box, it comes with this cute note. It says, welcome to Spice World. Thank you so much for supporting my small black owned business. Each candle was handcrafted and poured with love and good intention. There is nothing in the world quite like, Spice Wick, quite like a Spice Wicks candle. Please use off your next order i hope you are delighted with your purchase spice wicks super cute note and it says thank you babe on the back next is this pouch uh this is our good intention pouch it contains this little stone Whoop. <laughs> This little stone, this is black tourmaline, and black tourmaline aids in the removal of negative energies within a person or space. It is a protective stone that repels and blocks the negative energies. And then it has a little affirmation that says, I release negative energy and I am protected on all levels. I will accept that. I receive that. And I am going to put this on my coffee table. Okay, so let's get into the candles. So before we get started, I just want to say that I did open one and I burned one earlier today um, while I was drinking my morning coffee because I wanted to see how strong it was and I also wanted to see, you know, and give my honest opinion. So the first one that I burned was Shea Butter Baby, uh, which is just like Ari Linux, okay? This one, I, it is a our favorite candle, a perfect blend of mahogany shea with hints of santal and coconut. That's it, that's the description. And this is hand poured with love in Virginia. It's made from coconut soy wax infused with essential oils. This smells so good, you guys. Like, 
Oh, it. What I love about this is one I will say is this is a year-round candle. Um, though it's shea butter baby, and that seems like a warm scent. Um, this one I feel like you could burn year-round. It's not super super heavy. It doesn't smell like sugar cookies or anything like that. It has like a very light perfume smell I will say but I like it and I love how it just carried out throughout my apartment um it wasn't too heavy and I see why this is their favorite candle like this I will dead I'm gonna eat this in a large how about that like I really really love this one um and so with that being said no need to keep bragging about this let's move on to the next one our next candle is called Breakfast Time um, Off Rip. I felt like that probably smelled like, you know, when you're at your parent, when you're at mom's house and you wake up in the morning and it smells like pancakes and all those amazing things during breakfast time. Like I said, I feel like scents really remind you of happy and warm moments. And so I thought this would be a perfect one for me. I like stuff like that. This description says that it is fruity, loopy, and a yummy, perfect blend of lemongrass, vanilla sugar, topped off with notes of grapefruit, lime, and lily. So it's a lot going on in that flavor profile. Again, this one's hand poured with Love and Virginia, made with soy wax infused with essential oils. Let's see. I'm definitely getting that lemongrass that she mentioned. And it also, if, if you, I'll have like a, um, like a lemon sugar scrub for it to use in a shower. It kind of smells like that, but I really like it. I would probably burn this, you know, like in my bathroom in a place where um, I would like it to kind of air out a little bit. I like that. And I, I don't know if I mentioned that all of her candles um, um, use wooden wicks, which is supposed to be better for the environment in comparison to like a Bath and Body Works candle where they have those three uh, cloth whip wicks. I'm not sure what they're called, but that look like this. All right, so uh, let's get into our next one. The next one is called Island Tings. And like I said, um, as we're transitioning into the warmer seasons, having things that remind you of like vacation, as soon as you walk into your house and just feel relaxed, um, I love scents like that. And this that's what I thought of when I picked this one. This description says that it is a tropical brand blend of succulent melon, ripe pineapples, orange with rum and creamy coconut. So. This, I was super, super excited about, actually. I think this is the strongest one out of the four that I picked. And so, with that being said, I would probably like this one, um, like, on a Saturday morning as you're cleaning up the house and you have, you know, your other, you're cleaning the house, you have all the sense of things that you're cleaning with. I think this one would be good to kind of put in and open the windows and just kind of let your place air out. Um, I really like that. Definitely smelling that coconut and melon it just feels like relaxing i love that and lastly is sprung off in springtime which is perfect um this one is a refreshing whiff of french lavender flowers blended with musk and sweet honey let's see okay this is my second favorite this kind of feels like, you know, you just took your like bed sheets out the dryer and it kind of smells like that lavender uh, detergent and you're just warm and wrapped up in your blanket. Like that's what this smells like. And like I said, I, I really want that at home feeling um, when I'm purchasing candles for this season. And that's exactly what that was. Sprung off in springtime. And I'll be sure to make sure that, like, I think I said that, but I'll make sure to make sure that I link uh, the link to each candle on here and include the names as well. All right, that's all four of my Spice Wicks candles. Make sure you guys go support her. Again, she is a small black owned, woman owned business. And so we're always looking to support. Um, next, we're gonna move into my Bath and Body Works candles, the ones that I forgot about. So let's get into those. All right, guys. Now we are going to get into our Bath and Body Works candles that I mentioned that I totally forgot about. Um, I have a total of three, and I actually have way more candles left in my closet than I thought that I did, but we're not gonna focus on those. We're only gonna focus on the spring and summer scented things. Um, and so the first one that we're gonna get into, this one is called Endless Weekend, and this scent is a fresh summer mandarin, sun-kissed magnolia, blue coconut water scented candle. Um, let's see. Okay, from first whiff, it kind of gives me like a sunscreen. 
um, type smell. And I know you're probably like, you bought them, so if you don't like them, then that's on you. But I actually forgot all about these. Um, but I, as I smell it a little bit longer, I'm definitely getting that Mandarin smell. Um, and I love magnolia. Like growing up in the South, we had like magnolia and gardenia trees and those smell so good. Like the flowers themselves smell good. Um, I, I enjoy this, so I'll probably like this at some point, but and not in my top 10 favorite candles for sure. Um, next, we are going to get into Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. It's a tropical passion fruit, radiant kiwi, juicy pineapple um, scented candle. So very fruity, let's see. I love that. So actually, I purchased like a, it's like a, I wish I had it right here. It's a coconut vacation scented uh, shea butter that they have at Bath & Body Works that smells exactly like this. And I want to say I may have the shea butter that smells like this, but I super love it. Um, especially in the summertime, you don't want to smell like, you know, those super strong must scents. And I really love how light and airy. And I'm not usually, I don't usually gravitate toward fruity scented candles. But this one I really, really like. And again, this is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. And this is a White Barn candle. White Barn and Bath and Body Works are basically the same thing. Just maybe in two separate storefronts. And oftentimes they're right next to each other. Um, and they both have their candles mixed up together when they have the big annual candle sale. Okay, I say the best for last. This is my favorite Bath & Body Works candle of all time. Next to Autumn Leaves. Now, let me tell you, even though we're not talking about those candles today, Autumn Leaves smells like if you walk into like a, a home store like Kirkland's or uh, something like that. I love Autumn Leaves. That scent smells like it smells like home to me. I, I can't even describe it to you. When you walk into someone's house and you're just like, oh my God, it feels and smells so good in here. That, I feel like people like that, they care about themselves, which means they care about me when I walk into their house. And you just, when you sit on the couch and you just feel like you're relaxing, like I love that vibe. And especially after you're just coming back from work, you wanna be able to retreat in your own home. And I feel like candles are a big part of that. But enough about that. Um, Midnight Blue Citrus, it has a Juicy Citrus, Fresh Spring Water, Sweet Mango scent. Ugh. I love this candle so, 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 so much. Um, I don't even know what else to say about it. You go buy it and you tell me how you like it. I know it's popular amongst a lot of other people as well. Some of my friends too have this burning in their house. Midnight Blue Citrus is that girl. Purchase it and I'll be sure to try and link that um, if they have that in stock. I usually get about three of these. Um, during the candle sale um, just to stock up among the year. But I thought that I was out and apparently I had one more. So, Midnight Blue Citrus. Um, that is all today. Like I said, I really hope that you guys enjoy the candle review. Um, I hope that you go and purchase candles from Spice Wicks, a black owned, women owned business. Um, and be sure to let her know that Dre sent you. <laughs> So, like I said, make sure you guys like and subscribe and let me know uh, what other types of things you guys would like to see. So, see you later. Watch out,